The movie begins with the merriment of people drinking and cheering their leader who tells them that they have killed every types of human beings except for an Acadian. He asks his people of which limb should he cut off first with his sword, but the tied Acadian smiles and tells him that may the gods have pity on him because his brother will not. His brother eventually comes to his rescue and the crowd disperses. His fights off the men and defeats them. He turns and tells his brother that he's lucky they have the same mother. Before the time of the pyramids, a dreaded horde came from the east and swept across the desolate land of the ancient world. By the law of the horde, their strongest warrior becomes their king. His name was Memnon. He was the strongest swordsman the world has ever seen. With the prediction of his sorcerer who forecasted the future to him, Memnon killed all who went against his orders, leaving just a handful of brave individuals. Matthias, his brother Jessup and their friend Rama are the only true remaining Akkadians. King Pharaon calls for a meeting with other surviving kings of other tribes and they get into an argument before been told to be quite by King Pharaon's son Takmit. King Pharaon tells them that they should stand together in unity and fight the tyrant Memnon. One of the other tribes king says that Memnon can't be defeated as long as he sorcerer is by his side. King Pharaon then asks him if the sorcerer were to be killed what then becomes of Memnon. Belshazzar tells King Pharaon of his past experience with Memnon and says he won't allow his people go into a battle that can't be won. King Pharaon introduces them to Matthias and his brothers and hires them to kill Memnon's sorceress for 20 blood rubies. Belshazzar disagrees but King Pharaon tells him that the Akkadians are trained assassins and are definitely equal to the task at hand. King Pharaon comes out of his throne and asks the crowd that if the Akkadians kills the sorceress will they fight alongside him and the clan leaders shout out their approval in amusement. Matthias assures them that as long as one of either him, his brother or his friend still breathes the sorceress will die and then leaves the ground. At dawn, they set out to reach Memnon's camp. They reach by dusk and kills the first guard they encountered at the entrance. Jessup meets up with Matthias and he chooses the path he'll follow and they move in. Memnon's men caught a man named Apreed, a horse thief. They tie him above a fire and he begs them for his life. Matthias comes to his rescue and fights them off. He pleads with Matthias to free him, but Matthias tells him to shut up and punches him on the face and goes away. He meets up with his brother and they go in search of the sorcerer's tent. On getting there Matthias senses something wrong and tells Jessup and Rama to jump but they didn't and are shot by arrows from Memnon's men. He watches them get carried away from the top of the tent, while some guard go in search of him. He cuts through the top of the sorcerer's tent and goes in. He moves around quietly seeing no one. He then opens the curtains and sees someone and brings out his bow and arrow to shoot. The person turns and he sees a beautiful lady named Cassandra who calls him by name and tells him that he's been betrayed. He asks her how she knew his name. While still talking to her, he is attacked by Memnon's men while she stood there watching. He's eventually captured by Thorak, the head of Memnon's men. Memnon comes into the tent and applauds him because Akkadians were rare to find and he's never encountered one. Matthias spits on his face while he was still talking and Memnon punches him and goes away. Takmit who betrayed them came into the tent with his father's head King Pharaon as a symbol to pledge his loyalty to Memnon. They bring his brother Jessup to Memnon and he kills him with Matthias's dagger. He tries to kill Matthias, but the sorceress tells him that he can't kill him nor will his men be able to do so. She tells him that if he kills him with his bare hands it will bring misfortune to him. At dawn Matthias wakes up and finds himself buried alongside a preed the horse thief. They seize one of Memnon's men putting fire in an ant hill, thereby causing the ants to come out of their house to eventually feast on their heads. Apreet escapes from the hole leaving Matthias there and fights off Memnon's men. Matthias begs Apreet to get him out of there. He makes Matthias take an oath not to kill him before helping him out. Memnon meets his sorceress to tell him about his forthcoming battle. She sees a vision of his victory and tells him that he will get victory over the Westerners. He tells Takmit to tell his generals to get ready for war. He notices that Cassandra looks at him with disgust and he tries to explain to her that he's doing all this in order to make the world a better and orderly place to live in. She tells him that rivers of blood can never bring peace and stability. He replies saying they could bring obedience. 
He tells her that when he's conquered the world, that she'll take her rightful place beside him on the throne and on his bed. But she says no because she'll lose her gift of sight and he'll lose his advantage in battle when she lays with him. He tells her that the day he speaks of is the day he would have conquered the world and he'll not need her visions anymore. Matthias and Apreed heads to Gamra, and Apreed tells him that he can't pass through the gates because of the bounty on his head. But Matthias assures him that he'll get the both of them in without any alarm raised. Apreed was trying to talk Matthias out of trying to take him in, when Matthias punched him and he faints. He puts him on his camel and goes past the guards at the gate. He puts Apreed in a pool of water to wake him up and he asks how did he do it. He takes him to a pub and tells him to take care of his camel and wait for him. He goes into the city and stares at a statue of Memnon. He's approached by some street urchins who ask to be his guide, but he refuses and they steal from him. He stood still looking not knowing which of the urchins to follow. He sees the one with his bag of rubies and chases him into a hole. He eventually gets hold of the little boy inside an empty jar. He brings the little boy out and he hands him his bag of rubies. The boy sneaks him into the palace and takes him to Memnon's sympathetic court and science magician called Philos. Matthias threatens Philos and he tells him that Memnon is in the courtyard training. Matthias gives the urchin one piece of ruby before climbing the watchtower. He sees Memnon and tries to shoot him but he stops when he heard the voice of the urchin who helped him get in. Memnon tells Takmit to cut the boy's hands off because they thought he stole the ruby. Matthias eventually spares Memnon and saves the urchin, the guard sees him and starts shooting arrows at him. He flees away and goes to Philo's apartment and flees from there using one of Philo's invention. He lands in Memnon's harem and the women gather round him removing his weapons unknown to him. Before sounding the alarm and soldiers comes in. He fights and kills them before using a metal shield to block arrows and eventually using it in paving way to escape and jumps down into Cassandra's room. She was taking her bath when he came in. She sees him and immediately picks up a knife for defense. He runs into the pool where she is and she cuts him with the knife. He looks at her and then drags her under the water. They appear at a crowded place where a little boy was tossing a wishing coin. They come out of the water and he tells her that he's been ordered to kill her and he finds himself in a position where she's more useful to him alive and drags her outside with a knife beside her belly. He meets Apreed in the desert with his camel and they head to the Valley of the Dead. Memnon sends his right-hand man, Thorak, and a group of guards to kill Matthias and retrieve Cassandra. He gives him an arrow poisoned with the venom of a scorpion to use in killing him. They arrive the Valley of the Dead at night while sleeping Cassandra tries to run away, unknown to her Matthias had tied a rope to her feet with the other edge tied to his feet. He asks her where she was going, she angrily tries to fight him and he hits her on the ground and lays on her body. He asks her why she in a hurry to go back to Memnon. But she says she's not because Memnon has kept her a prisoner since she was a little child. He stares at her and asks why she helped him previously at the tent. She answers and says she knew he was the only one who could help her escape. He cuts the rope and tells her to run if she likes and goes away. At dawn while in the desert he sees Thorak and the guards advancing towards them and tells Cassandra and Apri to cover up their bodies due to the sandstorm approaching. He gets close to them but is caught up by the sandstorm and kills them, forcing them to run into a cave for safety. While in the cave he slowly kills the guards one after the other. He kills all the guards causing Thorak to run out of the cave in fear. He combats Thorak outside and kills him. Thorak stabs him with the arrow Memnon gave him and dies. After the storm Apreed and Cassandra goes to find Matthias. They see him getting up from a pile of sand and he falls down after removing the arrow Thorak struck to his thigh and faints. At night Apreed asks Cassandra if she could save him. She tells him that the arrow had the venom of a scorpion and he likely won't live. At midnight while Apreed was asleep, she gets on top of him and sucks the poison out of his mouth and faints. At dawn he wakes and then asks her why would she risk her life to save his. She says because he would save the people from Memnon. While on their way they meet Philos who is trying out his magic powder and he joins them on their journey. They go to drink water from a river and are captured by some village guards and taken to see their village head, King Beltazar. 
He plans on killing Matthias because he feels Matthias brings nothing but trouble to them. He's confronted by the female warrior's leader who tells him that their kingdom is home for any enemy of Menma and that his judgment is clouded. He engages in a fight with Matthias and gets beaten. At night Cassandra has a vision and sees Memnon's armies kill the whole inhabitants of Beltazar's land and immediately goes to meet Matthias and tells him that she had a vision of Memnon killing the whole villagers. She touches his hands and sees vision of him been killed by an arrow while fighting with Memnon and she tells him that if he faces Memnon he'll die. He tells her that he makes his own destiny and kisses her passionately and they lay together. She wakes up at night and takes his camel and goes away. Matthias wakes up at dawn and couldn't find her, he quickly takes one of Beltazar's horses and tries to follow her but he's stopped by Beltazar who tells him that he can't go alone. While feasting ahead of their battle, Memnon's soldiers request for the presence of the sorceress. Memnon tells and assures them that the sorceress is fine. One of the soldiers kept on insisting leaving Memnon speechless, until Cassandra suddenly appears and she tells the soldiers of their victory the next day. In the meantime Matthias and Beltazar's little army reaches Gomra and quietly kills the soldiers at the gate. Memnon tells Cassandra to go into his chambers and wait for him. He kills the soldier, asking about the whereabout of the sorceress calling him weak and ends the feast. He goes to meet her and asks her how she escaped from Matthias and she says that he was after him and she was merely a pawn. He senses that she might has lost her powers and sets a test to verify if she still has her powers. He commands that snakes should be put inside four jars and then spins it and asks her to pick out the empty ones. She places her hand over the jars and picks an empty jar. In the interim Beltazar and his female warriors takes on the guards, while Philos and Apri goes under the palace building in order to blow up the foundation stones of the building. Memnon attacks Cassandra unknown to him Matthias was on the roof watching him. He goes to the aid of Cassandra and knocks him off. They begin to fight and Memnon tears his shirt apart. While Beltazar and the others continue to combat the armies, Philos and Apreed locates the foundation stones and fills it with Philos' explosive powder. Memnon gets hold of Cassandra and goes away with her. Matthias runs through a wall of fire in pursuit of Memnon. Beltazar eventually kills Takmit, thus avenging his father King Pharaoh. The battle continues until Matthias is shot with an arrow by a guard as prophesied by Cassandra. As Memnon is about to claim victory, Cassandra kills the guard while Matthias retrieves his bow and shoots an arrow at the exhausted Memnon, sending him off the edge of the roof and into a set of flames where he dies. Philos and Apreed use the explosive powder to destroy the palace's foundation stone, bringing down Memnon's forces. With the battle over, the remnants of Memnon's army stoops before Matthias, who by their law is proclaimed the Scorpion King. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.